Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Listen. All right, it's important right here. All right, it's for all you young motherfuckers out there who ain't know why we motherfuckers be like free SPM or free BG or free, you know, Bobby Schmurter, you know, all, although he's free right now. And that's another thing. I've heard a lot of people, you know, misusing the term free. If someone's out of jail, you don't want to be like, yo, free that. He's free. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get like parole is kind of like being in jail, you know, even more so than probation without being in jail. But, you know what I'm saying? You don't say free somebody if they free. You know what I'm saying? That's like almost like you you wishing them not to be free. You know what I'm saying? Where I come from. So, you know, I, I just seen some shit where, um, you know, I, I basically realized BG um is uh unfortunately realizing ain't nothing happening. And I'm still say free BG again. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's very, very unfortunate that, you know, as someone who personally has been, you know, wrapped up in shit just because of being around it, like, yeah, I see how it happens. Like, you you know, everyone in the area is doing something. I mean, it, eventually, if it's wrong or right, if everyone's doing it, it, it don't matter. It's going to be right. At least, you know, till till y'all get caught or whatever. You know, and, and in a place where there ain't many opportunity, motherfucker got to ch take whatever chance he can get. So I understand that. I understand that wholeheartedly. And I think, I think that the problem that BG encountered wasn't so much, it was that, but it was also like, there's the hood and then there's like shit like that's a, like you'll hear people even say, this, that's a war zone. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I used to live in Dearborn. People talk to this day about Detroit. Post bailout Detroit. I live pre bailout Detroit. The motherfuckers say, shit's a war zone. Flint's a war zone. But Flint's not, I don't, I don't know if Flint's like that still, but I, I heard motherfuckers. It was around the time they, they uh, put the, the sagging laws in place. Um, But yeah, like, I think it's when you have not just a lot of crime going on, but a lot of neighborhood beefs, you know, in an area, and that's why I'm, you know, very, um, like, I sort of look at it like you can't place people that you lost on, like, I, see, most of my ops is, is not in this state, you know what I'm saying, because if it's, if it's like that, it's, be, it's for a reason, like, there's someone that's not, I'm not ever going to see again because of you, you see what I'm saying, like, so I think it's, it's very important as one of the older heads that I, you know, be like, look, man, we got to be, motherfucker locked up. Yeah, you say free that motherfucker. I'm still saying free SPM. I know them charges was bogus. If you look at that whole case, the way they did them charges was bogus on SPM part. BG, yeah, he, they, they sort of got him dead to rights, sort of. But SPM, if you, like, think about the whole case and who he is. A, he didn't, I, I guarantee you, they probably heard this on Mexican radio, said, let's find out who his homie in the feds is, let's, let's then go, it's all hypothetical, obviously, let's, let's then go try to uh, find his kids and, and, and coach them into, coach one of them into saying something, probably under the promise of money. I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying, but if he really did it, put it like this, he wouldn't have took it to trial. He wouldn't have took it to trial. It's just how it is. If you really did that shit, he wouldn't have took it to trial. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've not took shit to trial that I didn't do. <laughs> because I knew if I went to trial and they rigged the system like they like to, like a casino. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bat, rather, rather sit for six, six months, nine months, year, couple years, do a couple bullets. Then sit for like a clip or a 30 stick, you know. I mean, but, but you could, like, if you're really a certain type of character, you could tell even through through a camera what type of character some of these people is. You know what I'm saying? And I think very early on, SPM was one of the realer motherfuckers about some shit. I think he had been so used to doing things like that in a, in a, and gotten very habitually discreet about it that they, they basically, they wanted him so bad, they made some shit up. And they... they I, I swear to God, I think there was shit they could have got him on, but he was too, too concealed about it. You know what I'm saying? And I think 
if you look at when Dre started really like sort of knowing how to use synths very well, I'm not saying Dre is the feds, you know, let me clarify, I'm not saying that. Could he be? I don't know. But I know that SPM, if you looking back, if you look at the timeline of when SPM first first dropped, you know what I'm saying? Like in the mid to late 90s. He was using workstation synth type shit well before the rest of the game was. Well before. So it's like you have this dude who's empowering Latino people. The government don't like you empowering minorities. Let me tell you that. The government do not like that shit. The only way you might get away with that shit is, is if A, you're white, and B, you don't have no type of bullshit um, that you're still wrapped up in that they can use as an excuse. I think, now, now let me be clear, they will go after you if you're white, but I think they, they, they really try to target, I'm speaking specifically the feds, this is not my viewpoint as far as how I feel, but it's how I feel they feel. You see what I'm saying? So I think the federal government does want, I, I think the federal government it, 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 it's racist. I mean, and, and if you look at all what they're pushing right now, like I said, equity, you hear that term when it applies to a loan. It's the only place you hear about equity at, man. You know, so it's like, look at the crack era and how Reaganomics was sold. As, we only know 10% for what Ronald Reagan really did. And it makes him look like the devil before you even realize his initials equate to 666. You know, so, like, the dude was like, you know, like, people say he's the devil for a reason. We only know 10% of what he did. You know, and it's most of that shit that was for the greater good. <laughs> you know, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, free BG, free SPM. You know, if I, if I forgot motherfuckers who's locked up right now, who... Free Pooh Shiesty, man. <laughs> free, I, I should have said that in the beginning. But unfortunately, I believe Pooh Shiesty, um, if he were free... Unfortunately, I think he might he might wind up like you gotta understand the feds is Agent Smith right now from the Matrix. They really are. You know how in the Matrix like Agent Smith can form into any motherfucker and she's just like then he forms back into the motherfucker. Like, <laughs> that's basically like symbolism of how they use informants and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So where we're at now, we gotta realize like things. Think about the turn of the ninth, uh, the the 20th century when when it was the early 1900s. All of a sudden, out west, motherfuckers with Pinkertons, Pinkertons everywhere. It was a secret service. They was going to make ghost towns out of every motherfucker that wasn't pushing U.S. currency. <laughs> okay? And we're at a turn of the century again. And just like mankind levels up around the time that shit happens, the federal government levels up twice. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And if this shit really is a simulation, keyword if, I promise you it can make people mean like, you know, feel like you, you wouldn't even really know if, if you was made by the simulation, except there'd probably be like telltale factors to other people. Like you wouldn't behave like you, you might look like you might have like some type of autism spectrum disorder where you're very, you don't make eye contact or some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're glitched out. Like, you know? <laughs> And I think it wasn't always able to do that, you know, but if Earth is a simulation, which it could be, then by, by theory, it could create NPCs, you know, and um, I mean, like I said, back to the main focus of this video, man, just be smart with what you're doing. Understand Pooh Shiesty got caught because of what? This. He was trying bread, you know, and the Fez was able to literally... Zoom all the way and say, run that cereal real quick on that bill. Yeah, just that one. Yeah. Oh, that's linked to a robbery? Good to know. And he's out on bond? So, you see what I'm saying? Be careful, man. Do it for the grand, man. Stay in for your fan. Peace.